Hello. In this video we explain what the French Office for Immigration and Integration is and what its role is. It is known as OFI. After your first appointment at the Prefecture, you will have an appointment at OFI, usually in the same premises. OFI must inform you about your rights, take care of your accommodation, that is a place to sleep, and your allowance for asylum seekers called ADA, by which we mean money. The OFI will propose that you sign the Offer of Support. If you accept this Offer of Support, you will be able to have accommodation, although not necessarily quickly, and your allowance, ADA, if you, if you refuse, you will not be entitled to anything. If you apply for asylum, you are in principle entitled to this accommodation and money. They are known as CMA, Material Reception Conditions. For accommodation, that is to say a place to sleep, women with children, very sick or disabled people are given priority. If you have your own accommodation and wish to use this address, you must provide Offi with the most official documents possible for this address, such as a contract with the person who is hosting you, even if you are not paying for the accommodation. If Offi does not have accommodation to offer you, it will refer you to a reception platform for asylum seekers known as a SPADA, most often the one which gave you the appointment for the GUDA, the Asylum Seeker One Stop Shop. Attention, OFI may require you to go to another region. If you refuse to go to that region, or if you leave that region, you will lose all your rights to CMA, the Material Reception Conditions. You will not be offered any other accommodation and you will no longer be entitled to ADA, Asylum Seekers Allowance, or a legal address. When OFI makes decisions, it must take into consideration your situation especially if you have particular vulnerabilities. When you are at OFI, talk about your health problems. Give written proof if you have any. If OFI does not offer you accommodation, you can call the emergency service by telephone at 115 to find emergency accommodation. You have to telephone many times to get through to 115 because there are a lot of calls. If you are told that there is no space, do not hesitate to telephone again every day. Let's now talk about your legal address, i.e. an address to receive all your posts during the procedure, also known as domiciliation. This is very important because many things in the asylum procedure are done in writing and you will receive a lot of documents by post. If you know that you will be staying in an accommodation centre for asylum seekers, a CADA, for a long time, you can use this address as your legal address. For this purpose, the accommodation centre must give you a declaration of domiciliation. If you do not have stable living arrangements, the SPADA, Reception Platform for Asylum Seekers, will give you a legal address at which you can receive your post. You must pick up your post very regularly, once a week. If you do not pick it up for a month, the SPADA can close your legal address and that complicates the process. Now let's talk about the Asylum Seekers Allowance called ADA, which is the money you receive each month. OFI gives you a card that allows you to withdraw this money, which can be used in cash point machines, also known as automated teller machines or ATMs. You are allowed a limited number of withdrawals per month. To facilitate the management of this money, it is preferable to have it deposited in a bank account, a livre A instant access savings account at the bank postale. For this purpose, you must have your asylum application certificate and a valid legal address, domiciliation. If you have any problems, ask the SPADA or your CADA for help. Having a livre A bank account can be useful for all the steps involved in the process. In principle, you will receive the ADA throughout the asylum procedure or, for those under the Dublin procedure, until you are transferred to another country. In some cases, OFI may refuse or suspend the ADA if you have missed an appointment at the prefecture or if you make a request for a reconsideration of your asylum application or if you leave your accommodation 
or if you have given false information about your identity or your family, or if you have exceeded the 90-day deadline to apply for asylum. From the 5th of November 2019, the cards to receive the allowance from, for asylum seekers, ADA, will no longer be a withdrawal card, but only a payment card. It means that you will not be able to withdraw cash from your card. You can only use it to pay in shops and services that accept the payments from cards. All asylum seekers with an asylum application certificate are entitled to health insurance. If you do not have many resources, less than around 750 euros a month, you are also entitled to free complementary health insurance, universal complementary health coverage known as CMUC. Health insurance and CMUC enable you to have medical care and medication without paying. To obtain it, ask your SPADA. While waiting to benefit from health insurance, you can go to healthcare access offices, known as PASS. Opened in some hospitals, they can treat you for free. For the Ile de France region, you will find this information and addresses on our website. Many regions offer discounts on the cost of using public transport, such as buses and metros. Ask your spadder about what is available in the city where you are. That's it for the office steps. Next, you have several options for further information. You can see a video on access to work, or on how to complete an OFFPRA file, or on the Dublin procedure. See you soon. Music